Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Christian Hur, and today we're going to have some fun asking some questions on the chatbot AIs. So I want to ask Google Bard, uh, OpenAI ChatGPT, and Bang AI Chatbot to see if they can write a piece of Python code. Not only that, I'm going to ask them to also fix a tiny bug which I will introduce into the same code that they provided and see what they can do. Okay, so the question I want to ask them is as follows. Let's go and take a look. I'm going to ask each of them to write a recursive function in Python that will compare two lists of integers and returns only the list that has the least gap between the elements. So for example, I have n1, n2 here, and the missing numbers, as you can see, those will determine the gaps. And this example, n1 should have the least uh, uh, gap, so n1 should be returned, okay? So for Bank Chatbot, the uh, OpenAI, and uh, Google Bard. So let's head over and ask them this question. I'm gonna copy this first, so I don't have to retype this. And let's see what they can do for us. Um, let's give me a second here. Let me share my screen. So here is um, Bank. I'm gonna go and add, pick the one that says very precise. Okay, I wanna be as precise as possible. So let me ask for if you can write me a, a code. Hi, can you write Python code? And let's see what it says. Hopefully, yes, uh, still waiting. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm gonna paste the question right here and see what it says. And then, <clears throat> okay, great, looks good. Um, okay. A bit long. All right. Okay, uh, let's give it a test. Okay, I'm gonna go and copy this. And then I'm gonna go right into the uh, chat over here. And let's test, this is the bank chat bot, okay? So I'll put it right up here. I'm gonna rename the function just to the underscore. Okay, let's give it a try and see if this is, Oh no, that's not correct. Actually, I'm gonna change change the name to uh, my down here. All right, so let's give it a run. And okay, you got a really strange answer here. It probably maybe misunderstood my question, but it returned the wrong answer, okay? Maybe it wasn't clear um, or something. And I'm gonna see if it um, can fix that, okay? It's not giving the right answer. And so let's get, give it another spin over here. Where is Bing AI? Here we go. And I'm gonna say, um, can you revise it? Okay. All right, so it's gonna try to do that. I don't know if it's the same or not. Um, it appears to be much shorter than before, as you can see, but much shorter. Let's give it a twice. Okay, so now let's copy this and go back to the IDE. And so I'm gonna comment this out now and we'll leave this as, as is. We're gonna we'll comment this out. Um, it will close this and we'll add a new one right below it. So this is the new one, same function name, I guess, good. All right, so let's see if it's correct this time. It looks to be working fine. Yeah, much shorter, and it is giving me what I wanted. So just to be sure, this is the second one here, okay? Let me clear the console here again, run one more time. And we did prove that this is the smaller of the, the gap. I go back and make this like a 20. Um, no, let's make this, um, yeah, let's make this a 20, then the smaller should be the other one, okay? So let's try again. Great, so, okay, good. Finally got it at the second attempt. Let's go ask the same question to the other um, bots, okay? I'm gonna ask the same question, let me call this, copy that, and let's head over to um, a Google box, well, I mean, OpenAI. So again, 
I can you write uh, Python code? And uh, yes, oh, that's pretty quick. But it's response is very fast. Okay, here's the same question. Yeah, very fast compared to um, Bing AI. Okay, it includes comments as well. Um, I guess is just as long as the other one. And it provides some explanation as well. Pretty interesting. Um, okay, it says that assume inputs are valid and contain only integers. Okay, we got that. So good, let's go ahead and give this code a test. It's so gonna copy that. It's gonna head over to the IDE and now let's switch over to uh, chatbot. So we're right here. We'll copy the function. It's called total gap. Replace it down here. All right, so let's give it a try and see what happens. There we go. Uh, do run try again. Okay, it's had it probably had it wrong one. Sorry, least gap. That's my bad. Try again. Let's clear the console. All right, so you can see it does understand what I was asking, and it did provide the correct answer as I expected. Let's test this again. Let's put a, uh, let's make this the larger one. Okay, I'm gonna put it here like a 20. Now that second should be the larger one. Um, let's run one more time. Okay, so I think that's the, the correct one. So let's make this uh, a 10. Um, and then that is still a small, it says, okay, good. Let's make this a eight, All right? Yeah, so it is working as expected. Good for chat GPT. Now let's go try Google Bard and see what happened. So let's head over back to uh, Google Bard. I'm gonna switch over to this side. Ask the same question, hi, can you write code or Python code? And okay, it's thinking. So you can see it's a little bit slow as well. Okay, I can write uh, Python code, different Twitter, da, da. okay, good. You can also write complex code, great. That's, is, that's the same question and see what happens. Ah, I'm shocked. <laughs> okay, it says I'm not trained for coding yet, so I can't help with that right now. Um, interesting, okay. It says it can write complex Python code, but I guess it's not as complex as a function. Let's ask to write something really simple. Write a, a function in Python to um, sort a list of on order number. See if you can write that. Okay, I'm very, I'm very um, uh, disappointed actually. <laughs> Can't write a code, but it claimed that it could actually write code. Maybe a very simple one. Write um, a Python script to sort a list of uh, unordered numbers. Maybe let's see if we can do that. Mm. Okay, I'm shocked that Google Bart doesn't even can do that for me. So, well, that was a disappointment for Google Bard. It was not able to provide a code at all. It'd be just a simple uh, uh, sorting algorithm. So that's unfortunate. Maybe, you know, maybe in the future. But now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to send, I'm going to give them back the same code. And I'm going to introduce a tiny syntax error in the bug in the code and see if uh, they can detect and fix that for me. Okay, so let's go back and see what we can do here. I'm going to just put a um, put an extra uh, parentheses right here. This is a syntax error. I'm going to go back and copy this code 
and give it back to Bing and see what it can do. So let's go back to Bing. I'm gonna say, um, can you, um, okay, my code, my code has a uh, has an error. Or I'd be more specific, a syntax error. Can you um, tell me? See if he understands. Hopefully you would ask me for the code. Okay, so here is the code. And uh, let's see if we can find that for us. Wow. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, it did find it. It did find the, uh, the parentheses here and it fixed that by removing that um, you know, extra parentheses there. So this is very good. I'll give it a thumbs up. <laughs> good job on that one. Okay, let's go and do the same thing for um, OpenAI. Uh, let's go back to its quest, its same code. And I'm gonna copy its code. And so do the same thing. I'm gonna do, it's much longer, but let's put it, it, the same thing here, okay? Um, yeah, here, or let's do it right up here, I guess, right here. Okay. So I'm gonna copy this code and um, try again, make sure I copy it right. Copy this code and let's go back to um, ChatGPT. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna say um, my code has a syntax error. And you help me. Okay, so here it is. Um, yeah, it caught, it got it too. This time it looks looks good. It did it did find that there's a ex, an extra closing parenthesis before the plus right here. Very precise. And it did fix that line for me uh, as it as it should. So very good. Compare that to the other one. I think it's uh, they're both equally good in this part. Okay, so what do you think? What's your favorite? What do you like about it? So let's look at Bing first. Okay, the first it was a little bit slow when it, it I asked the question. It uh, provided the solution, and the first solution was actually not correct, not the way I wanted. Maybe it didn't understand my question correctly. It was, maybe I wasn't being clear, but the second round, it actually produced a really good answer. Um, the code is much, much shorter and actually working correctly. Uh, and then when I introduced the bug, it was able to fix it right away too. So awesome for that one. Uh, ChatGPT was very, very fast. That was my first impression. I asked right away and it starts showing the question right away. I type in a solution. Not only that, the code itself has um, some comments or documentation and it also explains what's going on into the function as well. It was also the, um, able to detect the error and also fix it right away. The, uh, I think the response was what was actually caught my attention. Google Bard um, was very disappointed actually. Uh, at first I asked if you could write Python code, it said yes. You could also write complex Python code, so it said. So I introduced the question and it was not able to do that. So I basically asked another very simple question just to do a function to sort a list of arrays. It was not able to do that. Then I just asked, asked it to write a loop. I mean, a, a uh, yeah, basically a loop to sort an array. It was not able to do that at all. So. I guess it still have a lot of catching up to do for a Google board. So in my opinion, the winner is basically OpenAI ChatGPT. So tell me what's your favorite. And if there's anything that you'd like me to test, any comments you have, please let me know in the comment below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.